Hi guys, good morning. Today is um, May 8th, 2020, Friday. Yay, Friday. So, I just wanted to come on here to go over today's work and um, also today's our Zoom meeting. So this will be the only one that we have all week. So I really hope I can see you today. So pop on to Zoom. It, the link is in your parents' email or on in the packet that I sent home. So please get in there. I would love to see you. I've been missing some of your, your faces. <sighs> it's been a while. So the way we're gonna start today on Friday is by doing ECRI. Remember, it's super important to do ECRI every single day to practice reading. So do the same thing. Read the words and the sounds the fast way first. After you're done reading the words the fast way, then read it to yourself in your head. When you're done with that, then do the silly read. And today it's like you're super excited because it's Friday. And then look at the words and choose as many words as you can to write two sentences. And don't forget, practice using your best handwriting. Even though I'm not there, you can still do your best handwriting. And um, capital letters, spacing, make sure it makes sense, um, and punctuation. Don't forget about that. And spelling, you should have the words spelled correctly, especially if they're on the paper. <laughs> All right, when you're done with that, it's time for you to read your decodable book. So turn the page. Today it's cookbooks. So read, and then today's the day that you highlight your spelling focus words, but then you're gonna go on a word hunt instead of telling about what the story's about. You're, well, a sound hunt, I guess. You're gonna look at the sounds and you're gonna find things around your house, inside or outside, that have the same sounds and you're gonna write those words down below. When you're done with that, your spelling is, um, it's, a, it's your sight word spinner. So you can spin with a paper clip and your pencil and then you make sure you do each word three times each today for Friday. Your spelling words are how, now, and shower. Okay, so for your spinner, it is a rainbow, right? <laughs> and clap it and tap it, write it in the sky, and then bubble letter write it. So only two of the options you would write on the paper. So, sounds pretty fun to me. Today is sort of exciting. It is your last day for your STEM project. So, when you're done, get your STEM flip book, just like this, and turn to three and four. And today, during our Zoom meeting, you could share this with us. This is so exciting. I cannot wait to see what you guys do. So, number three says, test and modify. Just test your idea. What happened? Draw and write about it. I can't wait to see your vehicles for the tortoise. Super cool. The next question says, how can you improve your idea? How can you make it better? You need to think about it. Did your vehicle run? Did it move? Did it fall down? Can you make it, even if it moved, how can you make it better? I bet you can. Don't forget to draw about, draw right about it right here. And then above here, if you need room, you can use it. All right, this is the big part, testing your idea. So test your improved idea. So you have your other idea, Mr. Green. You made it better, you, want, you need to test it. You need to see, hey, did, did what I thought work? Would work, work? <laughs> so I'm gonna write about it. How did you feel about the challenge? 
What did you like the best about it? Draw your results. If you need extra room, use that. And then, this is sort of your checklist. You need to go through and just decide if you did these things. Did I collaborate? Did I share my ideas? Plan my project with words and pictures? I kept trying even when it was hard? Or I shared my project with my friends? I hope to see you today so you can share yours. It'll be fun. My favorite part of the challenge was, don't forget to write that one, it's a good one. And then you can hold on to this and turn it in to me so I can see all of your hard work too. When you're done with that, you've got your plant journal. <coughs> For your plant journal, all you have to do is draw a picture of what your plant looks like and then write about it. Remember to use complete sentences and um, Make sure it makes sense, okay? All right, then it's time for math. If you are a junior, you're gonna be doing two digit addition and subtraction on page 462. And um, it says use tens and ones to draw to show or it says draw to show how to add the ones. Okay, write this down. So if my number was 27, I would draw two sticks, two groups of 10, 10, 20, and then seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And if I was adding two more, I would add two more. I would put two more ones. And then I would count them all together. So, just like this, up here, I would have added 32 plus four, three tens, plus two ones, plus four ones. Hmm, what would the answer be? 10, 20, 30, and how many ones are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Thirty-six. All right. So you do that for this page and for this page. If you have any time, you can go on and do more. No problem. But if you don't, no big deal. Try this one and this one. Okay. All right, guys. That's a lot of work for today. I'm pretty excited to see you at the Zoom meeting. I hope you have an awesome weekend. And I will see you on Monday.